good morning and happy Friday you guys. So um, it's early, it's quarter past seven. I've just woken up because we're going for breakfast at eight o'clock. Um, had a very good night's sleep actually. It's very, very, um, it's a very nice bed. Even though I've had some reservations about it, it is a very, very comfortable bed and the pillows are really nice. These are the kind of pillows that I have at home myself. So that's really cool. Um, the only thing is that, like, the quilt bit, I know you won't be able to see it, that bit there, it does smell really bad. Like, it smells kind of like, like that horrible, musty, dirty, B.O. kind of smell, like, urine kind of smell so um, I didn't sleep with that on top of me I pushed it both right into the bed just because like the smell of it um, so yeah the only thing about this hotel really is that because it's quite homely it's not really hotel like you really really hear people wandering up and down um, and because the floor's creaking and everything like that it does genuinely sound like something outside your room trying to get in and it's really it's a bit creepy actually like I didn't go to bed until about 10 to midnight yesterday because I just wanted to make it not like take advantage of the room you know have like um, a cup of hot chocolate because that's complimentary and have a spa bath and everything like that um, so I ended up not going to bed till like 10 to midnight and uh, about quarter past 11 I think someone tried to get into my room I think they thought it was maybe their room um because like I heard a lot of like handle jiggling I was already in bed I was in bed watching America's Next Top Model on my iPad but like I could hear someone like rattling my door handle and like sort of trying to like put their card in and out and everything so that was a bit creepy I don't like things like that that's why I tend to stay in like chain hotels because you don't really you don't really have that happening to be honest so that's the only thing like as much as I do actually like this hotel um, it is a little creepy at times because I like I feel like people can hear you do you know what I mean like I don't think the walls are very thick <laughs> so um, I just feel like people can hear you and they're like wandering up and down and stuff and yeah it's a bit weird um it's a bit like being in someone's house anyway that being said i've got to get up and get dressed because like i say it's now nearly 20 past um seven and we're going for breakfast at eight because our tour bus is picking us up at five to ten but we want to be down there for about half nine just to make sure that we're in the right spot so um, we've all decided to meet at 8 o'clock, so yeah, I'll better get moving. Nice and uh, posh though. That is good. Very nice. Yogurt and watermelon and toast, now I'm vlogging. I'm waiting for my buppy eggs to dip my toast in. Whoa. Poopy eggs. Do you want sauce? Um, yeah, well, yeah. I went a little bit mad on the dessert front. So I've got banana, banana and apricot bread. Yes, it is. I think that's a custard crown, pan au chocolat, and um, something apple y. Have you got any um, marmalade? Whoops. I'm back in the room. Oh, so as you saw from breakfast, the selection was plentiful. Like, you could have a full English breakfast, you could have an even bigger version of that, you could have an omelette, you could have poached eggs, fried eggs, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs on toast, beans on toast, like literally anything. Oh, and they had like a hot vat of porridge as well and fresh fruit. That watermelon was delicious. And as you saw, I got like buppy eggs to dip my bread in, so and a mountain of cakes. And they've got all different types of um, like breads, like poppy seed and rye and like all different ones anyway. So it was very, very nice. I'm very full. It's nine o'clock at the minute. 
we've got about an hour until we get picked up for our excursion today so I think we're gonna take a slow toddle down I think that's what we're gonna do so I did steal a little yogurt to put in my fridge and a bit of that like cakey bread because it was just so nice so I've got an undercounter fridge in here actually I don't think I showed you this yesterday so I've got an undercounter fridge and that's my cakey Ooh, cakey and then yogurt there we go and then that's just the water that they put in the room for you so that's all well and good anyway so I'm gonna get my butt ready and I will see you in a little bit okay we're at our first stop in Grasmere so that's the view behind us bus is all right people are annoying as usual <laughs> I'm so bad Oh, I've got this guy who just likes to sit on my lap, it would appear. So that's always fun. Hello, hello. Getting ready to cross the road. Mum thinks I'm going to get one over. I can walk and vlog at the same time. It's alright. E man, constantly going on. We've gone and seen the uh, graves as well. We're going back to the bus because it picks us up at 10 to 11. We only have half an hour here so we went and bought some famous gingerbread, had a look at the daffodil garden, had a look at some graves because I do love a good grave site. Look at those hills, oh love it and um, yeah we'll go get some coffee for back on the bus. I won't get a coffee, I'll probably get a tea or a hot chocolate or something but everyone else is getting a takeaway coffee for the bus so yeah, you know. Well hopefully we'll be alright. And uh, they say every year some ghostly Viking warriors come back and ask him to rise from the grave to take them back into battle. But he never does, of course. We can hear a ghostly voice say, Not yet, my friends, the time is not right yet. So we're going to climb this pass, but it's, it's, it's a main road now through the valley. But the walls, if you look on the side of the fells, as I say, this is Helm Crag and Steel Fell, the higher walls on the hillsides date back to the Tudor period. So when Henry VIII wanted to divorce Anne Boleyn, he applied to Rome to get the divorce made legal. They wouldn't agree to it, the Catholic Church. So he dissolved the abbeys and the priories. And that left a void in these areas. There was nobody here then to look after the land. And uh, so what happened then was he would give lands to his cronies, to his friends. They would in turn rent these lands out. And uh, then you had a lot of the farms you see today dating back to the Tudor period. Across the lake, you can see all that rubble there. That was one of the graphite mines. The graphite was used for military and later to make pencils. And at one time, they had four pencil factories in Keswick. Now they have a pencil museum. This is the River Derwent. And that bridge is one of the most prominent bridges. That bridge, because there was a Chinese couple coming off this hotel. We went for a walk one night, he came back by himself. Said he'd lost his wife and sent a search party out. They found a body under that bridge. He'd murdered her. Oh, so it's cool. Yeah. I told you about Hugh Walpole. Right, that was his house on the hillside. Right. There, the white house. Orange, now, so, this is Newlands Pass. We're just about to climb over here. Down into Newlands Valley. Coming around in a circle now from Keswick. I might have noticed some cattle down there. They get cattle up here sometimes, and farmers bring some cattle. However, they've got to have hay for cattle. Cattle can't eat this grass. Um, if you've ever seen a sheep eat, it eats like, like scissors. It uses its teeth like scissors. The cow can't do that. It needs to use its tongue to pick its food up. So they bring hay up for them. Of course they can. Of course they can. But the thing is, don't forget with sheep here, if you didn't have the sheep, it's part of the ecology of the area. If the sheep weren't here, the grass would grow too high. You wouldn't see the dry stone walls or anything. The grass would just grow and grow. So it is part of the ecology, ecology of the Lake District. And farmers are paid to breed the sheep by the government. They're paid a subsidy to breed the sheep. Because a lot of the fleeces are burned. They're no good. They burn a lot of them. They, don't, they, can't, all, no, yeah, they can't all go to make uh, carpets and uh, insulation. So they do burn an awful lot. Mm. Mm. It's funny we 
right, we're at some sort of druid stone circle. I'm trying! I'm going! We've only got 10 minutes! I've got to run anti clockwise! But I've got to run anti clockwise so many times to meet the man of my dreams, apparently. Oh god, this is a big fucking circle! <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm not fit. I'm not fit. Oh, oh. season. Oh god. I can't do this three times. <laughs> They're all taking the best. I'm not counterclockwise. Yeah, I'm not sure what she's after. <laughs> I don't think the, she cares. It's the wrong way. <laughs> after that run. Oh, I tell you, I hope my man's coming soon. <laughs> I was not good just watching her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, got some video evidence of it as well, so that's funny. Oh goodness, so yeah, it's this boat here. Hang on, let me put my screen down. Um, that boat there we're going on. So yeah. cold for a long day. It is currently uh, 5.27. Oh, can't even see. Okay, right there, because you get like a little iPod dock. I'm charging my phone currently because I have like 20% battery and we've got to go out for dinner later. So, very, very good tour. We didn't get back until literally about five minutes ago, something along those lines. So, We've come straight up to the room. My mum and my auntie's gone to the shop because they're getting us alcohol in for the night because, I mean, it'd be rude not to. Um, we were going to go and have spa treatments tonight. Me and my auntie were going to get a hot stone massage and a pedicure. But I've just rung the spa on, like, the direct dial thing. And um, they only do treatments till half past six in the evening. I think that's a bit weird. Like, it's just strange. Like, most spas are at least up and running till like, 8 or 9 in the evening, so that's a bit odd. But, well, never mind. So, um, we won't have time tomorrow before we leave, unfortunately. So, that scuppers that plan. 
But um, after dinner, I think we are going to go use the pool because the pool is actually open until 10 p.m. I believe. I'll go ring down to reception in a minute and just make sure because we've brought our swimming cozies with us, so we might as well at least get in the jacuzzi and the swimming pool, right? So that's fingers crossed what we're going to do. We're also going out for Thai food tonight, which will make the boyfriend very happy because uh, he's not with us, by the way, he's at home. But um, it will make him very happy because that's his favourite type of food. I'm okay with Thai. Um, I'm not into uh, like Indian food and stuff like that. Curries and that, I just don't like them. Ugh. Just too, it's not my flavour palette and it's too spicy and stuff, so I can get away with Thai. So anyway, I'll say, I'll go wait for the girls to get back and then, um, yes, we'll go formulate a plan. Because I think they've also gone to, to book a table for us, I think, at, at the Thai restaurant down the street. Because it's Friday night, so it's probably busy. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be good and uh, that's what we'll be getting up to tonight. I know it's a very funny tie, but we ended up going to the pub instead because, uh, get off! <laughs> She's trying to take me mushrooms! You said you didn't want three courses, it's mine! So yeah, we ended up going to the pub because the Thai restaurant was super expensive, so I've got garlic mushrooms to start. No one else has got a starter. Uh, you were in your 20s, weren't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. She had to get the dentist for absolutely ages, but I think obviously... Ooh. No joke guys, it is super super late, it's like midnight right now, <laughs> no joke. Um, we did go for a swim in the end but obviously I couldn't really take my camera or my phone or anything with me because it was really, I mean you know like water and electronics don't mix and I didn't like leaving stuff on the benches because like anybody can walk in there and I'm just really funny like that. I don't like leaving my stuff where people can get hold of it. Guy and face. Anyway, I've just gotten back from my aunt and uncle's room. We've had a lot to drink. Like I'm feeling a little bit wobbly right now. Like I'm not fully drunk or anything, but I have had more or less a whole bottle of Prosecco to myself plus two ciders today that I had when I was out on the tour. So it's kind of more than I would usually drink, um, which is fine, you know, but like I said, it's midnight and um, people are in bed and asleep, so I'm trying not to be too loud. Um, but yeah, I just want to say goodnight to you, basically. So we went and had our swim. It was quite good. Um, the pool was really, really nice and what have you. We had a hot tub and the hot tub was amazing, like blissful. Like, honestly, if I had the money, I would have a hot tub in my backyard. But yeah, so that was cool. We've come back, dried all our stuff. We've got heated towel racks, actually. So I um, I switched my heated towel rack on and I've dried my swimsuit on that, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, we're getting up, apparently, again tomorrow early because we've got breakfast at 8am. And then we're checking out because we've got to drive back down to Sunderland, where my family's from. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, tomorrow we're literally driving back down, I'm doing a little bit of shopping and then I'm meeting my other aunt and uncle who lives in Sunderland because half of my family lives in Sunderland obviously, my my mum's from there originally um, so we're meeting them for dinner so I don't know again how much I'm going to film tomorrow uh, because I'm going to obviously be with family and they're older generations you know, so it's kind of like they're not really into YouTube or anything. Um, but yeah, we've had a spectacular day anyway, and I don't want this segment to be too long. So uh, I'm going to go to bed, and I'm going to leave you to it. So thank you very much for watching today. Hopefully you enjoy yourself tomorrow. And I am, as always, going to check you later. So check ya.